All right, so as you can see, I actually started the body work on it the other day. Uh, I got the windshield pulled out. Uh, tonight, I think I'm gonna work mainly on the trunk here. Right now, as you can see outside, it, there's snow on the ground and it's like 25 degrees, so I'm not gonna be able to paint the whole top of the car, but I might be able to get by with doing the trunk. Uh, yeah, I've been doing body work for probably about three and a half years professionally. Um, and then I did it kind of on the side for, I probably have seven, eight years into it total right now, but I would consider myself a professional body guy, but definitely not a professional painter. Um, I've done a few paint jobs and I thought I knew what I was doing until I got around other actual professional painters and you realize that you had no idea what you were doing. So when you're watching me do this, this is definitely not going to be a how to paint your car this is just going to be how i'm going to paint my car and i'm sure we'll learn some stuff along the way make some mistakes that's all right i've made quite a few mistakes in my day so i'm prepared for that um yeah i'd say the roof is probably going to be the biggest area to repair there's a lot of little dings and stuff like that on there so looks like some hail damage um the hood I got pretty well smoothed out already, but there is a lot of areas I need to prime. Um, there was big damage right here from, it looked like from somebody shoving the hood down to get it to close. Instead of just adjusting their hood striker, they decided to hammer fist this thing to get it to close. Um, so I'm probably gonna do the same thing on this. I'm gonna block it all out. I'm gonna prime the whole thing, guide coat it block it all out, make sure I get everything, and then we'll move on to the roof. You can see the waviness in the roof. But I got what I could see circled, but same deal. I'm sure we're gonna run into some stuff once I block it. dust off my old masking machine this thing gets uh gets used every once in a while um, but not as often as it used to like i said i at one point i thought i knew how to paint cars so i bought all this stuff to paint cars and i did it a lot on the side and every one of them i mean they turned out okay but not as good as you'd hope but I tried to keep the prices really low so I could get a lot of experience in. Problem is, whenever I would have an issue with a paint job, I was just by myself in my garage. I wouldn't know what to do to correct the issue. And, I mean, you can get online all you want and try to research it and do that. But you, you can only get so far with the knowledge that you have. And if you're not working next to an actual professional, I'm around a lot of professional painters, but uh, in the positions that I've been in, the shops that I've been in, the painters have done all their own. There's been a specific painter. The body guys do all the body work and then it goes over to the painter. So I've never had to do any like combo work, uh, but I would like to learn how to do it professionally. Masked off as good as it's gonna get. I got <clears throat> some primer and the gun over there, and uh, yeah, put a few coats in this thing. Hopefully, I still know how to pull the trigger on a paint gun. We'll see. Got a little bit of residue there, but I think it'll be okay. Don't touch it after you wax and grease your with it, right? All right, let's go. So 
I was about perfect. I ran out of one coat. So now I know how much I gotta mix up to do two more coats. Third coat. covered in primer three coats on it I did three coats just because I had the material um, the primer actually said you only needed two coats but I went ahead and did three just because it was mixed up and it was either gonna go on the trunk or go bad so uh, yeah now I'm just gonna block sand it with some 320 grit car um, is getting ready for primer on the hood and the header panel here um, we got everything scuffed got it uh, dusted off used wax and grease remover last night so I'm gonna go ahead and go over it again with wax and grease remover just to make sure everything's clean since it has sat overnight and then I'll mix up some primer and get ready to spray the sun So the sun's shining. It's uh, like 60 degrees today, so that's nice. So I'm gonna try uh, painting the Lincoln. Well, at least the uh, the hood, front grill area. I'm actually gonna be painting this piece of the grill also, of the same color, and then painting the the trunk. The reason I'm gonna break it up is because in this small area, uh, the overspray from the clear gets a little out of hand when you're spraying big areas. So hopefully this way I'll be able to kind of divide it up and keep the overspray minimized. I'm going to put a black sealer down and then I'm going to go ahead and spray the flake. It feels good in here. It's not humid. Uh, really good weather. Um, the clear that I'm going to be using to carry the flake. Um, I don't know if you guys heard of this stuff. It's called All Candy Wet Wet Clear. Goofiest name I've ever heard of, but... That's uh, supposed to be really good. Um, it's four to one. It says to spray it at 40 PSI, which sounds a little high to me, but I'll give it a shot, see what it does. Um, it's supposed to be a no buff, uh, no shrink clear coat. So a lot of people can claim that, but we'll see. As you can see, I'm definitely not laboratory room clean with my paint mixing table. With how much flake I actually put in here, I'm going to shoot for an ounce. It's been about 15 minutes since I sprayed the sealer on there. Oh, probably more like 20. Uh, feels good dry so I'm gonna go ahead and put the activator in the uh, wet wet I feel so stupid every time I say that and uh, we're gonna go ahead and spray a couple coats on there see what it looks like
ready to spray on two or three coats, uh, wet coats of clear to bury the flake. You see how much texture that thing has in it. So hopefully the clear will bury that. Um, and then, like I said, I'll let it sit for probably end up being a few days before I can get back to it and sand it all flat and then go over it again with the final flow coat of clear. But a scientific water trap system. It's kind of getting in my way. Um, so far I've used two quarts of clear. That's um, I use that for the flake carrier also, so I'd say a solid quart of it was just for that. Um, so yeah, hopefully this is enough. Alright, so there it is. Looks pretty cool. Turned out nice. There is some dirt in it, but it's kind of hard to avoid that. Yeah, so I'm glad to have that all done, at least done to that point. I still need to let it sit for, I need to let it sit for at least a day. I'll probably let it sit for a few days just because of my schedule. I won't be able to get back to it for a little while. Um, let it sit for a while and then sand it smooth. Because there's so much flake in there, the surface is going to be rough. Um, I use two coats of clear with the flake in it to get the color. And then kind of a, a mist coat over it to help kind of blend in some of the, the striping. Uh, like I said, I'm not a professional painter, but I went over it real light to help blend that in. And then I did uh, three full wet coats of clear over the top to help bury the flake. Um, so now I'm just going to sand it flat. And then I'm going to do a final coat of clear over the top of that as a flow coat to smooth everything out once it's level. That should look pretty good. But I used about a half gallon on just the hood and the trunk. So that's quite a bit of clear. Um, I still have to do the roof, which I hope I have enough clear left to do the roof. Plus, I still need to flow coat both panels, which is at least a coat of clear. And that takes about a pint of clear to do a coat over the hood and the trunk. So hopefully I'll have enough to do that. Uh, but I think it looks pretty cool. I'll show you some pictures of how it looks with the light hitting it um, and the kind of the color change effect that it has. Yeah, it's got a crazy effect to it. <clears throat> I think out in sunlight it'll look really cool. I'm just using the light off my phone. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully it looks good after it's all flow coated. Good enough. This thing is never going to be a show car. It's never going to be a, you know, show winner. It's just going to be a fun cruiser. I can go out and have fun with, so I'm not going to nitpick every little thing on it. I'm just going to enjoy the car. Um, I did the grill. The center of the grill is going to be that dark green and the border. I'm going to do a gold holographic flake. Um, so that should look pretty cool since my wheels have the gold centers. Um, I wanted a little bit of gold in the car to help go with that, but yeah, pretty happy with it. I didn't screw anything up too bad, I don't think, yet, anyway. I guess we'll see once it's all said and done how it looks out in the sun.